Hey guys, HerbQuest here with one that's going to be a little bit short and rushed in terms of video content because something special is going on tomorrow that I'll get into after a couple of clips. HerbQuest here is something a little bit special. 3k away from 20 mil Hunter XP. Figured I'd get this on film. 20 million Hunter XP. Time to do some God Wars, see if I can get that ACP finally. Got the ecumenical keys already in my bank and set to go. See you at the door. Thousand shins. If I die, I lose 3.1 mil. I'm kind of low. I forgot my ecumenical key, so I actually ended up getting kill count. And we've got our prize. And the connection is good for the quick prayers. All right. 938. We'll see what our kill count is after this trip. This is like the standard wiki setup this time. I decided just to go with a basic setup and see where it goes from here. Maybe modify it a little bit after a while, but Zilly is north. I'm going to go ahead on in. Alright, this round is the last dose of stamina. Pretty decent round. I think I can try with one more stamina. Let's see how 7 does for next trip. And we're at 958, about to be 959 kills. And we started with 938. So that's a 20 kill trip, 21 kills. If I get this one, I should be able to with one stam dose be no problem at all. I've got plenty of supplies left over. Twenty K Let's see, I think I might be silly and try this with a summer pie to heal for energy. And for our pie drop, we get a Rune Kite Shield. I think I could even do that again. Oh, there's another Summer Pie. I think I probably can. And with just one piece of pie to spare for the tooth half of a key. What a bum loot. And we'll call that a trip there. So it looks like 23 kills total from 938 to 961. See you guys at the next trip. Or maybe, actually, yeah, better yet, I'll just uh, show you the end inventories. So from 961, and see you at the next end inventory. Alright, and for the last Ceridoman kill of the trip, the loot is... Thought maybe one more hit. Alright, six diamonds, that blows. Alright, we're at 986 kills, and we started this trip with 961. Alright, and this run's going to be exactly the same as last time, starting at Kill count of 986. Only difference is that I've got an ecumenical key and seven stamina potions. So let's see how this goes. Forgot to actually commentate over this, but 
Here's the end of another trip with 1,015 kill count on the Sarah boss. No luck yet, but I did manage to pull out a God Sword Shard and a Sarah Domin Sword this trip. I'm going to need one more God Sword Blade if I want the armor held, I believe. If I, if I think I'm mistaken, I think I actually have two spare God Sword Blades in the bank. But, oh well, there's another trip coming in with one more. Alright, and there's the last Sarah Doman kill of the trip as it screams in our ear for the 20k cash. It makes the cash stack look a little prettier. But nothing really major to take home from this trip. When my inventory started getting low, I started collecting the snake grass. But since all I care about is a bow, I'd rather have a manageable inventory and get as long a trip with as many kills as possible than worry about this little side drops like money, darts, and renards, and snapes. But as my MV dwindles down, I don't mind collecting them. I'll even take these steel darts. Since I got a stack of those in the bank, I don't actively gather those while I'm killing the boss, so, but last trip, why not, you know? And then for this ecumenical key, unfortunately, I had to go grab the door and I had to tab out for it, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. And also today, just for a time reference, I got the Dead Man Mode Invite from JJX in my messages, and tournament's coming three days from right now, and I think I will participate one last time. But for now, let's do some god moves. So this inventory, I'm going to have pretty much maxed out supplies with 8 stamina potions. Alright, and there's kill count, and we're at the god wars door. Unfortunately, my mouse has been liking to double click a little bit here and there lately, and I wasted a sip of ranged potion, which is really going to affect me this trip. But let's go ahead on in. Actually, I'm going to wait to pot up until I take a little damage and lose some prayer. Then I'll brew, restore, and range pot on that key. I wish this mouse wouldn't double click like that. That is the most frustrating thing in the world. I can barely even do this boss with this mouse. I keep on running back into the boss and I... I I can't even take the fucking bones. Why I drank there. Oh great, it was a fucking brew, so now I need to do a restore. So much for the free altar. Cause this mouse is fucking me over. I I literally can't do this right now. Alright, so that last trip of God Wars was a little bit frustrating there, and I wasn't really getting mad at the boss itself, more of just at the fact that my mouse was breaking. It's a nice little Razor Death Adder, it's a little bit expensive, and I've got this uh, little Dead Man Mode tournament coming up uh, this coming week. But... I'm not really frustrated about the whole God Wars trip anymore. I just figured I'd toss in a couple clips of my momentary WTF moments at God Wars there where I kept on running into the boss. It's just so annoying and there's so much risk involved and it's like you know you don't want to do that and then it, you know, I just shouldn't have been at God Wars with my mouse acting up that day. But I've got a new one in the mail should be here before the actual final hour of Dead Man, but I'm going to have to use this uh, scuffed 
double clicking mouse uh, for a couple days of the tournament at least. Shouldn't be too big of a deal though. It doesn't always double click. It double clicks kind of randomly and then sometimes if I blow really hard into it like a Nintendo cartridge case it stops double clicking for a little while. Like today it's not so bad. That Sarah trip, it was really bad. I think it was mostly just because of where I was. But this footage here was taken after that, and I was able to get some, you know, AFK gains. No problem. It's easy for skilling or AFK type PVM. But for bossing, where you really need every click where it all matters, and double clicking makes you run into the boss, then this mouse doesn't let me do Sarah Doman anymore which kind of blows. But, new one on the way, should be here in time for the final hour. Uh, that's all I got for now, I gotta try and keep this video short, under 20 minutes, so it's actually uploaded in time, so, peace guys, I'll see you during the final with some low quality videos of the tournament itself, and then some high quality videos of the seasonal afterwards. Seasonal is going to be better quality than the tournament, simply because I have more editing time, but with the tournament, I know a lot of you guys want to watch it as it's happening, so I'll be uploading those as I sleep with minimal editing, just some high points gathered together, if I hopefully manage to capture them, but there won't be too much sped up, most of it will be in real time, and probably the uh, commentary will be a little bit scuffed, because I won't be able to edit out every single stutter and stammer that I do from my conversations. Alright, so we'll call this a video here, peace guys, see you in Deadman Mode Tournament and Seasonals, peace.